We are here in the suburbs of Lisbon looking at a tile manufacturer that do fancy tiles, those blue and white tiles. We're actually in a little town, a little town outside of Lisbon, Az Azieta, I think it's called. So, um, so we're going to see these tiles. These are the uh, artistic tiles that are made, uh, you know, in little, little shops like this. This is a very small place. Um, and uh, they're not the sort of mega stuff used in construction. Hello. Hi. You can take photos anywhere you like. Thank you. Feel free to, to explore. Thank you. Um, so, my name is Dagmar and I'm going to show you how we work here. Wonderful. Are you ready? Yes, my name is Pamela. This is Oscar. Okay, Oscar and your name? Pamela. 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 Okay, Oscar and Pamela. Lovely. And um, yeah, that's just for yeah. well, and just be careful here with this. Um, I'll meet thing. you there in uh, a few minutes. Okay, okay. yeah. Get uh, are you going on a tour afterwards? So I should make it a little bit like not yeah, too long. Yeah, we have uh, eleven thirty. Eleven thirty. Yeah. In Jose Maria oh, okay. No, that's fine. That's okay. fine. And yes. you can also paint your own tile. I don't know if if your your customers would like to consider. Well, I just I put we we we, yeah. we <laughs> yeah. paint your own tile. Yeah, you can paint your own tile. Oh, yeah, those tile. are nice. Only painting Hi. Your <laughs> So I'm going to America. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> exactly. We are so ready. She's so ready. She is funny. That's great. <laughs> yeah. You're coming from America. Yes, yes, you're right. America. Are you are you going? <coughs> Just kidding, I'm going in the oh. office. Oh, oh you're going, going with us. Okay, yeah, we'll take you back. No, no, she's going to paint. She has something to <laughs> She's going to paint. <laughs> That's what she's gonna do. Yeah. <laughs> I like this place. Yeah, it's yeah. The, to the gum tree. You see Lisbon there on yeah. the other side, so really nice. Is that a gum tree there? Yes, it is. And it's been cut quite a bit because mm -hmm. it's grown so strong. Hello? 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 So, this is uh, Miguel. Hello. Hello. Welcome. And um, yeah, so we are doing tiles here, and we've been doing this for quite a while now, so almost 40 years. Wow. And um, we are at this stage six people working here, so it's not a large company, it used to be much larger. Or we, we had uh, at certain stages many, many more painters, but it's a business like, you know, when you do a handcraft, it's uh, it's limited to what you sell, and, and it's always difficult to stay afloat, especially in difficult times, no? Pandemic and and people, and the, because the price, of course, of a handmade is much more than uh, an industrial. So we we also don't think oh, we should produce more. You know, it's like the 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 the, the market is what it is, and. Um, what we do when you look at all these uh, panels over here and in the other rooms, those are mostly things from Portugal. So things that were very much used in Portugal. Of course, there are many influences from other countries, especially the Netherlands. If you look at these Delft-inspired uh, tiles, and um, it was sometimes actually copied completely from another country. So the Dutch were very influential, and the Italians but mostly the things that you see again and again here, we also then copy for you to experience yeah. a very typical Portuguese exp uh, thing. So what Place. is he? What is he doing? He's cutting out the tile. Uh, he's taking. This is the clay that we use. It comes from okay. close to Porto, and it has very much chamot. Chamot is fired clay mixed with the raw clay to give it more firmness, to make it more resistant thermally to open the pores in the back. If you give me just a little bit sure. here. This opportunity to show me. You know, the head of the Usually you have these openings in the back. You see those? Yeah. yeah. yeah it's like bubble. your skin. And this is what the shamot does. It opens. So when it's at the wall, it can breathe better. It can adapt to temperature changes and things. So. And of course, when we roll out, the firmness is quite important because you don't want to lose time on 
figuring this out and it's smooth and too, too, too smooth to roll. Um, so usually that's what tile makers use. And here has this bit of uh, sand underneath to make it less sticky. The board has about 12 millimeters of height. You can see these side, side things there. So the height is always the same when the needle rolls out. And it's fascinating. I've never seen tile made yeah. like that before. So um, once he comes to the end, he takes a metal plate of 16 to 16, puts it on top, and then he cuts out the 16 to 16 tile. So that's the first stage. Um, and then uh, the, this tile has to dry because otherwise it would deform in the kiln with a high temperature. So for this, we have all these, you can see them all over the place for, for drying. Now, when you leave a tile like this, it would dry much faster. It would dry maybe in two to three days. But if you have a high, uh, high uh, quantity of tiles and you produce a lot, it's very, you have to always once in a while go there, check if there's no bending or, you know, like making all kinds of, because during the process, it, it shifts the, the clay. And, and do they, do they we, do, we don't have time to do this. So that's why we have these heavy weights on top to suppress that there's any misshaping happening. And, and this, this way it takes drying, much longer. This is yeah. the drying tile? Dry. Yes. And do, when they dry, they turn white or...? No, no. They turn uh, like this. They turn a lighter, a lighter brown. So instead of this, that's the, the tile that's dry enough. Okay. So that's the, the color. Interesting. Uh, but this takes about a month in summer or even longer. And in month. the winter, up to four months, five months, six months because they are so trapped together, but that's the way to, it's, that's the best way to do it if you have a large production. During the process of drying, the tile uh, gets a bit smaller. It loses some, some of its... Oh, yeah. Because of the, uh, uh, do they all lose the same volume or do they vary? More or less. Yeah, it's more or less four or five millimeters. And then we, we fire them after that. So once they are dry enough, then you can go into the first round. And this takes about um, <laughs> 12, 13 hours. <laughs> and it takes uh, 1,080 degrees or 1,050 degrees. And then this comes out. So this is the bisque ware. Okay. So bisque ware means always one time fired, okay, before any kind of treatment. And you can see here, it's been cut. So you had a loss of five millimeters, then you fired, and then you have another 1.5 centimeters to play with. And this is the space we cut off to have 14, 14, that's our final size. I see. They like this to be exact because it, 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 it makes it easier yeah. to assemble. Yeah. We also have stenciled things to, to copy and they're all 14, 14. Once it's dry, how do you cut it? No, no, it's going to fire first. We uh, we first fire it. This is the dry. Right. Then we fire it, and then we cut it. Right. But so it's hard when you cut. Yeah, yeah it. of course, yeah. So otherwise it would break. You can't cut it like this. Then it would completely I crumble. Yeah. So what do you use to use diamond a diamond cutter? Saw? Okay. A diamond cutter. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can use it yeah. <laughs> 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 it's a kind of cold summer. Yeah. No, I'm in a terrible mood today. I just feel very irritated. Would you mind taking over too? She's <laughs> to wherever she's you go. Uh, yeah, <laughs> smile at the camera. No. She's very, she's you know, very vocal. <laughs> she's a vocal artist. She's, she's a vocal artist. You don't hear me sing. It's awful. Tama, <laughs> Tama, when she is like this, it's. it's just, <laughs> you know, we are not only painting tiles. We are just overall artists. <laughs> Having a good In all sorts of ways. Look at my hair. Com it's complete. Like we are complete. Complete mad. So, here again, you see this beauty of. Look at the reflection. Look at the thing that changes when you move a little bit. You know, this is what makes a uh, hand metal so beautiful. And here you can see in this room very much the, the, the European taste. Of course, here you have the repetition of patterns like the Arabs introduced, you know, the Islamic way of using geometry very much. And here you can see some, and in Portugal, 
there are some that were very much used. You can see this a lot. You can see this a lot, also based on an oriental comic book from the Netherlands. So uh, I just want to show you here the difference between a handmade one and ours. So this is the uh, industrial one. Now, when you look at it, you can see the that they're thickness. all the same. Yeah, first of all, they are thinner. Okay, I'm going to be, I feel like I'm, I'm on a movie <laughs> like here. A movie, oh, know. where's Johnny Depp? I would like to you know, <laughs> play with him. Where's the pirate? <laughs> and here you can see the difference here in the back. Of course, this one doesn't have chamot. It's very finely uh, grained um, clay. So it's pressed with the machine. The, the glaze usually is inferior also to cut costs. So in no way is this comparable. And this has a much shorter lifespan. So this might be hundreds of years even in the exterior and so and here this one is the weight like, must be yes. different as now well. when it's also nice when you feel it this is very stiff and this is very it's heavier but it's the chamot makes it elastic you feel it do you feel it yeah how yeah how inflexible this is this, this is why this breaks yeah, so easily you can feel it. Mm. and yeah, press on it feels, a little bit you can feel the yeah. solid yeah yeah but it yeah. also has that flexibility that she's talking about you can feel it in your hand yeah when you press on it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as opposed to this, which feels very brittle. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. It's like sometimes breaks when you take it out of the package. Yeah. I had like I bought some industrials now, and some of them were broken already when they took them out of yeah. it. This would never happen. Now we also have craquelé, which is a particular glaze that produces. This, this happens usually after a couple of hours after coming out of the second firing to alleviate the tension uh, between uh, the, the the clay and the and the glaze as such. But there are glazes that never do that. So if you have an old tile, sometimes they don't have at this cut cake. We use this because it gives a bit more charm and yeah, it makes it look older. Yeah. Looks older, yeah. So um, now the the glaze is this. You can touch this to feel. It's so like a powder. Yeah, it's yeah. a powder. And it's like rough. It's a little bit rough. When you That's the it. glaze? That's the glaze, yeah. yeah. The glaze is made out of silica, so it's a glass mix. I always thought glaze, I always thought of glaze as liquid. I never thought well, of it's liquid. It's liquid. It's going to dry afterwards. You mm -hmm. need to wait for a half an hour or so for this to dry. What happens first, we get the glaze, we, we mix it with water to make it liquid. And then uh, it's not too thick, not too thin. We take a jar and then we pour it over the bisqueware once or twice. We take off the excess of the water by shifting it a bit, by moving it a bit, and then after maybe half an hour, you can begin with your painting. So that's what we do. When I come in the morning and I have my paintings to do, I go to that side, outside, get my tiles this way, assemble them, like what Tama is doing now. Tama is busy uh, assembling her tiles Ooh, for another painting. I look busy. <laughs> She's crazy. Don't, don't. Just ignore her. <laughs> yeah. Or take her with, or just ignore her. There's no other way to survive this ordeal. Um, yeah, so you can also, no? Beautiful girl. Um, what, <laughs> what you see here also, she's just... She's great. She would almost fit in one of our suitcases. I'm, <laughs> I'm a big parent. I don't want to add with Johnny D. We, we compete. <laughs> yeah. okay, I do. Yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> now you can see, you can see here. First of all, it's very nice. She, she already Thanks. assembles her, her colors because she yeah, wants to find out. You can out see how crazy this yeah. thing her here is. This is very, very nice how she does this. Tama, it's marvelous what you did with, this, with these. Uh, because before we never had those as such, and it's really nice. Oh, the color. Yeah, so you, she she has this to paint, and then she looks at her samples, yeah, what the colors would fit. That's so a guide for the... Yeah, exactly. And you can see here on, on top of the glaze colors, uh, tiles, uh, uh, white points. This is charcoal. So the, 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 the thing that the customer wants, we have uh, tracing paper. In this case here, I can show you another example, a dog. This was sent to us, this dog. So the tracing paper is always the, the, the way to afterwards stencil it. So you take this, make a copy on the, on the tracing paper, make some points, you know, holes for, with the needle. And then with the charcoal doll, you just press on top and the charcoal goes through. And there you have your things. Yeah. 
because you need to know where to go. You can't oh, yeah. just paint like this, no? So it's like a copying. And the charcoal disappears in the second photo. So it's up to oh, you. So you don't even have to, to... You don't have to follow it. But, I mean, in this case, of you course... You don't have to worry will. about erasing it either. Because no, it's no. It's away. just... If you fire like this, it will only be white. So the colors that she uses, you can see there are lots of colors, uh, lilac and things. But in the old days, we had uh, only a certain amount of oh, colors. Damn it. <laughs> it broke a bit, no? It's broke. It's broke. Did Have you break? filmed this? Yeah. Yes, I did. <laughs> uh, what are those, the color, sa the color samples? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Now these colors here, you can we see really We really colors. need, because some colors yeah. are crazy, like, for instance. Yeah, there's, there's images. Yeah. Yeah. You see this color over here? Yeah. Oh. Which color is? That's blue. This is blue? No. It's brown? Right now it's gray, right? Yeah. But then it will turn into that beautiful green that you see over there. Oh, really? Yeah. One of the few ones. Yeah. So, so how do you know it's green? Well, I have written over here. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm clever. All right, no more questions. <laughs> <laughs> so when you apply also the blue, many times it's lilac when you apply it. You can see these. But yeah, uh, yeah, this is blue. This yeah, is cool. Yeah. Now the, the colors that you usually had until they were synthetically produced were these four, because of lack of money that you might not afford a very nice uh, precious stone to grind your own pigments like Jan Vermeer did or there were not enough quantities so for various reasons you were limited until now and today of course we have all these colors so those are all minerals and they are metallic mm. so they can survive any kind of firing so but you mix your own colors no no okay. we get them mostly from a supplier okay there are two or three that we mix a little bit but the rest is all and it's cobalt oxide, so cobalt is the blue, copper oxides for the greens, antimone for the yellows, and manganese for the browns. And then you have iron oxides, you have all kinds of chrome oxides, nickel oxide. So, of course, today we have so many colors. So any color that you like, we can mainly reproduce. Have a look here. It's a really a nice example of something larger. Oh, here you can also see the difference. This has been, you know, many people have grabbed on it, so it's a bit smudged. But you can see this before the firing and oh, afterwards. Wow. So you yeah, can see really the difference. Wow. Yeah. And you can see lilac and the snow then blue. Before, before and after. after. Before, after. The, before getting drunk and after. Before, after. after. Mm. Now here is something before very nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> look, at this, look at this wonderful thing. This has been sent to us uh, from Japan, from a nursing college in Osaka. And they said it should be 4,000 tiles, yeah. only in blue, and this is what we want. Four so thousand. you have photographs of the institution, of the college. You have paintings, you have the founder on a metal, on a bronze we have. And um, then we made a maquette, which means that like an architect, you do a small one for them to see our abilities to produce what they want. And they approved. And then after maybe two months, two and a half months, Katya already had almost two mm -hmm. thirds ready after three months. So this was put on the ground. Two, third, two thirds ready of what? Of these of the, tiles? Of the tiles, yeah. You've it's done these these already? Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, 4,000 tiles. That's done. Oh, wow. It's done of this. Yeah. Now, I want you to, to see this because this is a very good example of the potentials of the beauty of a tile. This is the tile panel of this painting that they sent. So you can see how beautiful this looks, how, how mm -hmm. vital and how you know, fresh, the blue looks. This is also beautiful, but this is another dimension. It's the potentials of tile painting. And I think this comes through very, very nicely. Here you can see examples of how she painted. This, these are parts of what she painted. Wow. So really nice. It took about three and a half months and it was 14 meters more or less long and seven meters height. So when they assemble it, they have a lot to do there to put it on the... Oh my God, yes. 
Now here are some examples of ceramics. We also play Shipping that must be a task. Yeah, it, 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 it was very, very... I, mean, I think it was... <laughs> <laughs> what what so, would you have to have painted? Can I go back? <laughs> I know my husband is thinking that because we're doing our Yes, I right am. Now. I am and thinking he's, that. He's thinking that we need, we're putting a tile backsplash behind the, uh, the stove. By the way, your country, those customers from America, from the United States, they usually buy enormously. And we had once a group here of about 40 Americans. They, they were coming on a cruise. And they, of course, they are very much... Uh, um, you know, enthusiastic about buying a lot because they can then, you know, stack it there and don't have to worry so much about yeah, it. Shit, about the so they, the believe it or not, I came here on Monday and I said, what's going on? Because the shop looked so empty and they, my colleague said, well, they bought for a thousand four hundred euro. These 44 <laughs> Americans wow. in one visit. We've never had this before. It's a historically a very important day. So, uh, you see.